And we're back with more Mario Galaxy 2. What's up, people? It's Adam from A to Z Gaming. Last time we got through two galaxies in one video. I know, progress actually being made. We're getting through these levels relatively quickly now, and I'm hoping that this is gonna be the pace. We also unlocked some new items. Well, one new item in particular, the spin drill, as we went through Spin Dig Galaxy. And uh, we did a lot of uh, flipping at the Flip Out Galaxy. Or, yeah, Flip Out, that's what it's called, because I'm, I'm confusing it with another one, Flip Swap. That's probably what it's called. I don't remember names. Also, we met this little guy, the banker. And we found out about banking star bits. And we found out I have 9,999 star bits in this bank. So let's stop beating around the bush and move onwards to the next level. Oh, right. Also, I forgot. Once we beat that, this little crystal became open and we unlocked a bunch of star bits. So I can't think of a better level to go to than this one, Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. This is a very fun, very nice galaxy in my opinion. I actually like this one a lot. And you'll see why. Not just the atmosphere, but of a certain thing we're going to be unlocking. So our first mission is to search for the Toad Brigade Captain. And prepare yourselves for incredible orchestrated music. So now that's one thing I actually want to bring up, like now that I'm on, uh, now that I've actually mentioned it at this point. Oh, first, this Jackwad. I don't like this enemy. He takes so long to just ground pound, so it takes ages to kill him. But yeah, that's one thing I want to bring up is that, that's one reason I like Galaxy 2 over Galaxy 1, and like why I'm playing it now. Because honestly, the music in Galaxy 2, in my honest opinion, I think it's better. Like, it's got a lot more orchestrated. Like, Galaxy 1 had its fair share of orchestrated tracks, but definitely not as many as I would have liked. Galaxy 2 is so much more orchestrated. In fact, I would dare say every track in this game is orchestrated. And you know how I love orchestrated music. No? Well, now you do. So we see here a peculiar little item. We get it. And we turn into Cloud Mario after getting the Cloud Flower. Cloud Mario, definitely one of my favorite power-ups. So, if you jump and you shake the Wii Remote, you get a cloud, giving you an extra platform. It's a very nice little item right here. I actually really like this item. It's definitely fun. I mean, not only because you can just create extra platforms, but because your jumping is so much more floatier. You, your jumping abilities are actually improved. It doesn't tell you this, but you just jump so much higher. And, you know, you're so much more floatier. You're pretty much like Luigi, more or less. Uh, if you hit water, though, you lose it. Which, that sucks and all. And also, if you get hit, you lose it. But, uh, yeah, you get three platforms with this, and you can do so much crazy jumping techniques with these cloud flowers. It's insane the kind of stuff you can do. You see? You see how high we jump? Oh! Oh, and because this asshole had to ruin it, thanks! Douchewad. Whatever. At least I killed you. That's your reward. So, as you see here, this is a place where they expect you to do a bunch of cloud flower stuff. However, I am now going to show you how amazing the long jump is. <laughs> just, just, you see what we're working with here? Long jump plus cloud flower equals holy crap, we're like a bird. It's insane. And you're gonna wanna keep your, uh, you know, all of your clouds because up here is the comet metal. And if you touch that water, you know, you lose your Cloud Flower. And the only way to get that common Metal is uh, with Clouds. So that's why you're going to want to be good at long jumping like I am. Anyway, uh, this, I believe, is our introduction of Launch Star pieces. I don't think we've seen... Yeah, we have not seen them yet. Uh, collect all five Launch Star forms. And also, apparently, we had Cosmic Clones following us. They're just that unimportant that I don't have to mention them. So we hop in here. Shiggity shake. And pay attention to that cloud right over there. We're gonna be going there later. I kind of wanted to do that first, but I'm like, nah, let me actually just do the main mission first. Because I don't want to, you know, screw up the flow of the level. Okay, you need to die. Because I don't like you. If I need somebody who does. Again, I don't remember its official name. I'll post it, like, later on. Anyway, sequence breaking. Sequence breaking with the cloud flower. You guys thought like sequence breaking was easy before, and you guys know how much I love the sequence break. I, I'm gonna be doing it so much more with this cloud. You son of a bitch! You know what? Screw off. You're dead. I hope you're happy. All right, doesn't matter because you're dead. Jackwad. 
But yeah, like the, the, but yeah, like I was saying, I love the mechanics of the Cloud Flower. It's just your jumping is so much more floaty. It's really like it's like you are in space because it's you know gravity is reduced, and it's just it, it, I, I like it a lot. I personally, it's my favorite power up in this game, in my honest opinion. Meanwhile, Tobergate Captain over here, some monkey challenged him to a race. I should be in better shape. This captain business is gonna be. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Probably did a good job of sounding tired. <laughs> See, I try to get into my roles like an actor, even though I'm not an actor. Although I did take an acting class once in middle school. We don't talk about middle school, though. It was a pretty shitty time. But we see that he wasn't kidding. There is a monkey here. Whoa, it's you. Hey, good work getting up here. They call me the chimp. Seems like you may be a worthy high-climbing rival. Take the star. We'll talk later. Oh, we will talk later indeed. This chimp is going to be a recurring character. We're going to be seeing him around quite a bit. But for now... Star. Yahoo! Oh, I guess we're going to the, uh... I guess we're going to the engine room because we just unlocked the flat... I think. I could be wrong. It's probably for something else. What's it for? I don't remember. Oh, also we can move forward to a very ominous looking place. Yeah, we do get the Flat Flower now, right? Look at that! I see you brought back some kind of, uh, floaty souvenir? It's a Cloud Flower. Oh, shit, some weird stuff. Again, I keep forgetting my Lubba voice! I just recorded episode 3, how did I forget the Lubba voice? Ah. Whatever, this, this is going to be a recurring trend at this point, is me trying to figure out what my voice for Lava is. Lava's just going to have an ever-changing voice, like, he's going to be just, I, I, I don't know. He's going to be finding himself. He's going to be finding his spirit animal and what voice goes with it. Anyway, <laughs> back to Fluffy Buff. Because it might look like we don't have anything else here, but I'll believe it, we do. So what we want to do is head back to searching for the Tow Brigade Captain. That only took 4 minutes and 47 seconds. Wow, I got that a lot quicker than I thought it would. Skip all this. Now, what we want to do... Well, first we want to kill you because we don't like your face. Or your beak. Or anything else about you. Uh, we want to collect coins. We want to collect a bunch of coins. Here's a good place to get them. This one gives you, I believe, 8. But there's one place where we're going to be getting a crap ton of coins. You'll, you'll see it. We'll get to it in a little bit. But this is effectively a coin collectathon because we're going to introduce a new mechanic. Well, not so much of a mechanic, but like a new feature, more or less, in this game. It, well, it's not so much new. We've seen it already, but it's, it's new with how they handle it. But we head in here. We got ourselves a nice little bonus area. We get this uh, little giant question mark coin. And collect coins as quickly as you can. Just run. Go. Quick. Before they disappear. This is basically what we're racing to get coins at this point. So hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright, so far so good. Trust me, you want to get all these coins. Because the amount of coins you're going to want for what we're doing, it's pretty exact. And if you don't get everything here, you're going to have a hard time, you know, doing what it is that you need to do. But yeah, so far we've got 78 coins. So we're, we're looking really good right about now. So, for the rest of the coins that we want, uh, I say we head up to the- no, you- no. Stop it. Go away. 79. Anyway, so what we want to do is, uh, head up to the top of this tree, go in this little mini launch star, and get this. And we got even more coins. So once we get them all... Oh, also I should mention, like, once you get all the coins from one of those little uh, mini bonus things, you get a 1-up. 17 lives! <laughs> you can clearly tell when, you know, when I do certain episodes in the same recording session. So here we have another Hungry Luma. But this Hungry Luma wants coins. He wants a hundred of the bloody things. Hundred coins. Luckily there was so much for us. Now this is what I was talking about in episode one, about how they actually use coins more. Is now that Hungry, uh, Hungry Lumas want coins. In Galaxy 1, coins were literally just for 1-ups, but here, you actually use coins 
to get you through uh, to uh, hidden parts of the level. Like, it is in Galaxy 1, but again, it was just with Star Bits, but now they do it with coins, which I think is a nice touch, to be honest. Can't forget that coins play a huge role in Mario games. I feel like I just said this ad verbatim, but... We shake and we go to a cloudy tower right here. I believe that's its name. Alright. Time for some hardcore parkour. Who's ready for some hardcore parkour? Who's ready to see my amazing jumping skills? No, oh, damn it. I'm gonna brag, okay? I'm, I'm good at this game. I know how to jump. I know how to do all these crazy tricks. Hang on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, every time you hit a flat flower, I feel like I should have mentioned this, uh, your clouds will respawn no matter how many you have. You can have three at maximum, you can't have more than three. So as simple as that. Oh, hang on. There we go. No, no, okay. no, we're good. We're good. And there's our next star. We are getting through these really quickly. Which I guess that's a good sign because, you know, that means I can do more stars and just speed through these worlds, you know, really fast, which I'm kind of glad that the pace of these videos is picking up now. Like, recorders only at 11 minutes right now, and we've already got two stars. <laughs> like, in previous episodes, it would take me the whole 20-something minutes to get the two stars. Moving on. So, we're done with this galaxy for the time being. We could move on and go here, because we only need seven stars to go here. And this is actually the end of World 1, but we don't want to go there yet, because we have a whole galaxy we haven't explored. Right side down galaxy. So we were in the clouds before, but prepare yourselves. Because this is one of the most trippy levels in this game. Because we are indeed breaking the laws of gravity. Oh, you'll see what we do. You'll see just how gravity just does not work in this level. Which, I mean, gravity itself is true because we're in space, but to be fair... Also, really kooky music. Which, to be fair, I like this track a little bit. It's nice. Also, I'm going to be doing a bunch of long jumping. Just, just so you can see my crazy parkour skills. Good job, you did it. Amazing parkour, Adam. You are the best around. Nothing's ever going to bring you down. Oh, Karate Kid. That was a nice movie. Anyway, so while we're going through this gravity level, there's something I want to talk about. There is something that I want to mention that actually just happened in between recordings. So, um, as I mentioned in the last episode, you know, I was considering doing Mario Maker levels. You know, like either playing through my own or just playing through uh, levels that you guys give me. Which, you know, I would definitely be open for doing that. But, uh, we'll, go, we'll worry about that pipe later, by the way. We're gonna do that uh, later on. But, uh, yeah. So, I've got a buddy who's a YouTuber. One of my good friends. I know him in real life. His name is, uh, Nintunis. I will put his little thing on the thing really quickly, but uh, his channel will be in the description. So, I just got done. <laughs> I just got done watching him play some of my Mario Maker levels. <laughs> oh my god, this was... <laughs> I've never seen so much rage from my Mario Maker levels in my life. It was brilliant, but at the same time I feel horrible. Like, dude, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Like, I'm actually sorry. I did not mean to give you an aneurysm. <laughs> I did not mean to have your head explode. I did not mean to make you want to take like five Advils. <laughs> oh god. But uh, yeah. So um, I'll leave a link to his channel because that that's a great video. It's hilarious. It's funny. It just came out today for me, but it's gonna be like a few days old by the time I post this. Oh, change up. Don't don't want don't want to touch him. But uh, <laughs> I just want to say uh, if you thought that level was hard, wait till you do some of my other ones, dude. Like, Monty, if, if, how good are you with jumping made you cry? Uh, what's it? Monty Mines will make you go literally mad, and don't even get me started with the Ascent. The Ascent levels do not get me started with them. Oh, God. Anyway, up here we have the introduction of a new item? It's not really new if you play a Mario game, you'll recognize it instantly, it's the Fire Flower! So we become Fire Mario, and we can shake the Wii Remote to shoot fireballs. Now, oddly enough... Fire Mario is limited in the Galaxy games. He was in Galaxy 1, of course, but it's just... It's weird to see the Fire Flower being a limited power-up, because, like, once you get a... Normally, when you get a Fire Flower, you're Fire Mario until you get hit. But this this runs on a timer. God knows why. I, 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 it's weird, but, like, I understand for, like, the type of game that this is. 
you know, like, this isn't, like, a traditional 2D platformer. For 3D platformers, I can kind of see why you do it, but... I don't know, it's, it's just weird to see a tried and true item work extremely differently. But, you know, I'm not gonna complain. Also, look how many coins we have. It's just... Oh, and we can't do our little spin thing. Oh, jeez. No, we're good. We're good. And we've lost it, but that's fine. Uh, I think we're gonna be able to get 100 coins. I think we'll actually be able to do this. Yeah, I think we're gonna get 100 coins again. Oh. Oh, I don't even know how you... Uh, 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 gra gravity! Gra work with me, please! <laughs> I was like, going like, whoop, whoop, back and forth. Alright. Gotta wait for these uh, flumps to get out of my way. Alright. Move out the way. Z wait. Spin. Spins. Is he saying spin while sleeping? I don't know. Anyway, uh, next star. I guess I actually, I, I like this galaxy. There, there's another galaxy like this in a later world, which is definitely a, a hell of a romp. You know, it's a little bit trickier, but I think it's pretty cool. I, I, I like the whole flipping of gravity. You know, it does, it, it, video game levels don't have to make sense. All right, people, people don't buy video games for the realism. They buy them for the fun factor. I still got the one up anyway, regardless. 99, ah, crap, whatever. Anyway. So, time for another secret mission. Which I'm surprised it doesn't have like a question mark thing for Fluffy Buff. Hmm, it's weird. But yeah, we're gonna head back to breaking the laws of gravity. Skip through all this. Hear the wacky music again. Also, I never commented on the background. It just—it it, it looks pretty funny. I mean, it's nice and all, you know. Like the music in the background, it, it fits. Like you just—you just know you're in for a wacky time. Anyway, do I need this coin? Well, not that coin. Do I need these coins? Why not? Actually, I don't even think I've explained that yet, what I've been doing, like, at the end of my videos and just in general. Uh, if you, uh, jump and then, you know, obviously you can do a ground pound, but if you jump and spin and then hit the ground pound button, you do a little homing sound. It's got a nice, it's got a nice little flair to it. I like it. It's nice. Oh, screw off. Whatever. So this time, we're gonna hit the switch. Oh, by the way, I need to mention, that's their weak spot. Should have talked about that before, but I was busy talking about Mario Maker levels. And how I made one of my good friends very angry, and how I feel bad about it. So, in this pipe, we have a little hidden little alcove. Where we just shoot fireballs at these crates. Oh, I should have mentioned that fireballs burn crates. But here, we have a hidden pipe. So, if we head in here, we see one of our little buddies here. This is a Gearmo, if I recall correctly. This is the end of the road for all the trash in the universe. So many boxes. It's getting way out of control if you ask me. Do me a favor and burn all these fast you can. What do you say? I mean, isn't it your job? Why are you pawning your job off on me? Alright, like, like, why? You're the one getting paid, aren't you? Anyway, thankfully with these boxes, one fireball can burn multiple of these, so... You shouldn't have that hard of a time. Uh, it's, it's really not that bad, compared to the version of this in Galaxy 1, where they had bomb bombs. Oh, we won't go there. That one was pretty tricky. We'll, we'll talk about that when I play through Galaxy 1, because I do plan to play Galaxy 1 at some point. Oh, thanks, that looks great. Really? It just looks like a bunch of planks all over the floor now. Here you go, take the star. Boy, I wish I had more folks worked as hard as you. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how hard I work in life. Oh, but we won't go there. Especially once I go back to school. Oh, man. Anyway. Next star. Man, we actually got a lot done this episode. We got four stars. This is the most we've ever gotten. We're just, we're slowly upping it at this point. I like we're getting more and more stars. After every video. Anyway, two minutes and 20 seconds. Galaxy complete for the time being. Well, that's right, those are the only two stars in that level. So, yeah, if we go back to the world map, we will see that we are completely done with Right Side Down Galaxy. So there's no more stars we need to get. For everything else, there are some stars we need to get, and as I'm sure you can imagine, they will have something to do with these combat medals we've been collecting. But for the time being, we can't get any of those extra stars. But yeah, I say that we cut it here for the time being. We made a lot of progress this episode. I'm actually really glad with how this turned out. 
It might be a little bit short compared to like some of the other episodes, but again, the other episodes were longer because interruptions and bigger levels. Uh, I'm pleased with the progress we made here. Yeah, this, this was good. So yeah, uh, next time we are going to head to that ominous looking castle area where I have a feeling we're going to find Bowser or one of his cronies. Maybe his son for all we know. I don't Who knows? How would I know? I've never played this game before, clearly. But yeah, um, that's gonna that's gonna do it. So next time we're gonna head to that level, and depending on how quickly that goes, we might just start the next world. I, I think we should. Hmm. But yeah, so um, <laughs> check out my buddy Nintunus really quick. I'm gonna put up this thing again. Well, maybe this will be the only time I put it up. And yeah, give him some love, subscribe to him. He's a good friend of mine. And that's gonna be it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more Mario Galaxy 2. Oh my god, he got mad. <laughs>